everyone. Welcome back. This is Rando Geek. All right, so we have a report coming from the T-Mobile News uh, website. The link will be down below in the description for you guys, as always. So the report here is apparently T-Mobile will no longer be testing forced migrations uh, for now. Right. So we all know about, you know, what was going on, how they were going to migrate uh current users on og plans you know one uh magenta magenta max and a few other ones over to newer plans such as go 5g go 5g plus etc um, of course at a higher price and the whole purpose of this is you know t-mobile felt that customers would benefit more getting a more value you know getting a higher value plan you know um more perks more um priority you know all those good things that you know naturally we would enjoy you know the problem is it's more money and you know many will find themselves asking do i really need the difference or is it enough of a difference for me to now pay more and leave my og plans you know there's also a belief that the og plans you know you know, even though they're might be saying to you that you're getting less priority, you know, some of us believe that the, the quality of the network, the towers that, you know, the service is coming from are stronger, were built better, and now they're being dumbed down, cheapened, and the service is, is just, uh, yeah, basically being watered down on newer plans. So it depends on who you ask. It depends if you really care about you know all of that in general um and if you don't then you might be somebody that would have wanted to migrate over but a lot of people don't um they've also a lot of people are getting special perks that are not available on newer plans such as you know an extreme amount of hotspot maybe more priority uh, or the same priority that you would be getting if you migrated over but somehow you'd be paying more now for that same priority that you weren't paying more for so you know there's there's different things there's different perks maybe you're getting free lines you know i mean for me alone i'm on the one plan i'm getting two free lines so if i if i was to move over to go 5g or go 5g max uh, plus you know it'd be a lot more money it just wouldn't be worth it for me um i spoke to a rep who basically said they this is why they wanted to do it um they were doing it because they felt customers would like the service better now here's what's going on with this article and then we'll talk a little bit more about it and then wrap the video up so you know t-mobile recently unveiled its uh, q3 earnings of 2023 uh, where it showed customer growth for the postpay brand so at that said event T-Mobile uh, CEO Mike Siever gave an update regarding its planned forced migrations. So according to the mobile report, it was revealed that the uncarrier scrapped its plans for these migrations. Siever pointed out that they re uh, received backlash over the anonymous context, which was found in their leaked internal documents. So this quote here is from Mike Siever trying to explain what this whole thing was about, because you know, they, they were very strong with it. Then they backpedaled. Then they kind of started talking about it again. And now they're like completely like backpedaling temporarily, at least uh, from what we're, we're getting. So from what we're hearing. So according to the quote, he says, we tend to do tests and pilots of things quite a bit to try to figure out what's the right answer. In the case, we had a test uh, test cell to try to understand customer interest in an acceptance of migrating off old legacy rate plans to something that's higher value for them and for us. He says, we had planned to test and did some training about around that. And then it leaked and it leaked as if uh, it was a broad national thing. And it kind of wasn't. He says, now I don't know that we have to do that test because we did get plenty of feedback thanks to the anonymous context of the leak. And I think we've learned that particular test cell isn't something that our customers are going to love so i do want to point out that you know they're saying that it wasn't something that was going to be abroad and it wasn't like pretty much not going to be for all customers 
Um, obviously, it was on. It was for all of the customers that were on a list of plans, like such as the one, like I said, Magenta Max, Magenta Plus, uh, a few business plans, uh, some uh, some of the uh, even older uh, prepaid T-Mobile plans. So there was quite a few changes that were going to happen. And then it was a breakdown of, you know, what you were on and what you were going to be moved to, what your benefits are now and what they're going to be if you move over to the new plans and how much you would pay. So when I contacted to support because I opted out um, before time and I did a video about that. So some of you may have seen that video. Uh, if not, go ahead, and check it out. You'll you'll be able to see, you know, you'll be able to hear more about what my experience was. Uh, through that whole process, but pretty much I'll just reiterate iterate, uh, the whole thing for you guys anyway, that basically when I contacted them, as I said earlier, they they were okay with opting me out. They weren't, a, weren't making a big deal about it. They didn't try to push me. Simply the guy was very cool. He was very nice. And he was just saying, you know, we're doing this because we think customers will enjoy this. Um, and we think that you'll get a better value out of it. I, he's like, you know, you will be paying more. He was honest. He's like, so you would have to really make a judgment as to whether or not it's worth it. So for me, it wasn't worth it. Um, and I told him, you know, I wouldn't be interested because I don't want to pay more. I don't see the, the, the benefits in it for me. I think the benefits I have now are just fine. So apparently he claims he puts a code on the account. And as long as that account is coded with that code that he put i should never be forced to upgrade or asked to upgrade again um someone would have to remove that code and that's how it would go and then then they could try to do that again you know they could try to force me to upgrade or at least try, you know ask me to upgrade so they were very much aware of what was going to happen and he did say it was going to start going live you know you know, on the uh, 17th of the month. So, you know, it's not like this was just a test and it leaked out and, you know, it got information got into the wrong hands and that's how it was misspread. No, it was going down. I think it was just, it was so many people were outraged and, you know, not pleased with this force forcefulness that T-Mobile kind of has been doing a lot of things they just you know it's kind of like they just wake up sometimes and they're just like we're just gonna do this and you know and, and they don't really think about it I think that what they should do is that if they really feel strong about doing something if they thought that customers would be satisfied with this they should have sent out a survey to a number of, of like all the customers that are on these plans and ask them would you be willing to upgrade for this this is it and that that is what visible did when visible before visible converted to the new visible plans long time ago i distinctively remember being on the uh, visible plan before it was visible by verizon all right before they they took on you know verizon's network like you know using verizon's actual towers when they were just a regular mvno I've gotten at least twice surveys that were asking, would you enjoy visible if they offered such things like millimeter wave, uh, you know, uh, more hotspot, you know, certain kind of perks. And it asked if I'd be willing to pay a little bit more money to get those perks. Now that is how you do things. You give the people a chance to decide whether or not they're willing to pay more or upgrade, you know, for those perks. Don't just force them on it. I mean, there's a reason why they're legacy plans, you know, because that title is supposed to mean legacy that you stay on it. It lasts, you know, it's, you know, so they, they definitely have to work on how they handle things, T-Mobile. And uh, as I'll always say, this is not a bash against T-Mobile. I like T-Mobile, T-Mobile, I have T-Mobile and T-Mobile was actually my daily driver, but I don't have to agree with everything that they do. Just like I don't agree with everything that all these carriers do. They, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. And in this case, 
T-Mobile, you know, has made this mistake uh, many times where they just kind of force you to do something. Uh, it's something like they're doing with the, the paperless billing now, too. They want to just force you off of it. And yes, it's a, it's a new age. And you could say electronic paper is the way to go. And it is more secure. And it's definitely better for the environment and, and all that good stuff. But you should still give your customers a chance to have it. Now, what they're doing with that is they're basically taking you off unless you opt out. And you can't just opt out before. You have to, like... It has to change. You have to be converted to pay, uh, paperless, and then you have to call them and be converted back to paper. So that's going to be tricky because a lot of customers are never going to know. They're not going to get their bill, and they're going to be lost, confused, and maybe not even know how to get it. So that's a headache in itself for customer service there. So it's things like that. Like they don't do a good enough job, like giving you an option to do what you want or to get the things that they think you should benefit from. And they don't communicate it enough to their customers, it seems. there's It's amazing how many customers will say they've never been notified about such changes that, that have happened, including like the fees that just come out of nowhere and all the sporadic, you know, out of nowhere changes. So big thing with T-Mobile that I think personally that they should change. Uh, we're going to finish it up with the last of the article here. Despite scrapping the plan for the forced migrations, T-Mobile's president of marketing, strategy, and products, Mike Katz, said that they plan to continue with the tests. So he says, we conduct tests and pilots all the time, and we will continue to do so because we think there's opportunities both to deliver more value for customers in a bunch of different ways. So he says, I would expect to see more of those kinds of tests from us. Uh, this was agreed by Mike Sievert, who cleared that while the initial test won't continue, they are still very interested in rationalizing the le legacy rate plans. He also says that they will probably do something different. So, uh, like the article says in the ending statement there, hopefully T-Mobile's next plans will not be something that will discourage its customers. So, agreed upon that. So there you have it, guys. Um, feel free to let me know down below your thoughts on my comments for the video, the whole situation with, uh, you know, basically coming out, saying you're going to force people over, then backpedaling, then kind of trying to, you know, moving back towards it, but then backpedaling even further. And, you know, so it, it's embarrassing, um, I think, for a company to act like that. You know, and it's not embarrassing in a sense that the idea, I mean, it's your company. You can have that idea and it, some people might appreciate that idea. They might think it's worth it for them to upgrade, but you should give when you're going to do something like that, you should give or especially if you think customers like it, that's your real, re, you know, the reason you're saying you're doing it. Well, then why not give people a chance to, to vote for it, you know? send out you know emails that you know ask them with a poll in it would you like would you be interested in upgrading for more money to have these perks you know and let the people vote and if you get enough people saying yes we think it's worth the upgrade then there you have it you have your answer you know so there you have it guys as always i want to thank you for stopping by and watching as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.